walk and talk therapy has been very, very helpful for my clients. The outdoors, it, it, it brings on a sense of mindfulness, brings on a sense of awareness, and most importantly, it brings on a feeling of connection. Well, I started uh, Walk and Talk as really a technique and a style and approach of working with students in high school. And the thought of them coming to my office, my sterile office, my sterile environment, uh, was overwhelming for them. They didn't feel comfortable coming to me to speak with me. And so I wanted to find a different approach. I think therapy is needed uh, just in general. I mean, think about it. We have coaches for everything, eating, we have coaches for finances, we have coaches for an array of things. And I think as a trained therapist, I think it's important for us to have a coach for someone that can help guide you through some emotional turmoil that you may be experiencing. It does something for the body. You know, we, we're walking and we have the oxygen going through our throughout our body. We have the heart rate up. Long. We're releasing endorphins. And these are the things that spark interesting conversations. And you know, after we're done, we can look around and say, hey, we've walked two and a half miles. And it takes this type of environment where we're walking side by side and talking about things that they wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable with. I think more than anything else is that my clients want to feel a connection. pretty much like someone's emotions. They, they have a full range of emotions. And for me, if we can get through these seasons and still connect and still problem solve and still work through conflicts, then I believe that that's more than the battle. Human condition matches human nature.